Hello, Olivia here. Today I'm standing at my kitchen sink in order to show you a standing version of a piriformis exercise using the bench top. Key aspects of this exercise are actually to do with positioning the pelvis. To begin with, I'm going to bring one leg up and I've got my super cute slippers on in order to give me a little bit of padding because it's a bit uncomfortable to have a hard surface pressing into this part of the foot. And I'm letting this leg, we'll call this the stretching leg, I'm letting the knee just drape to the side as much as is comfortable. If that's in any way uncomfortable, you could use the same side's arm to give that knee just a little bit of support. The beauty of using the sink here is that I've got a ledge or an edge to hold onto and then every time I lift my chest and stand up nice and tall in a spine lengthening straightening action I can use the arm pulling action to assist that, which feels very cool. Then here comes the pelvic positioning. Everything's in relation to the stretching legs hip. The tendency is for that hip to want to lift up so you want to drop it down. It's also the case that that hip tends to want to move forward so you use a pulling back action. So I've dropped it down, I've pulled it back and then the real killer cue in terms of a pelvis so to speak is to actively untuck, stick your bottom out behind you. The body wants to do this in order to avoid the stretch so by pulling on the arms and lifting the chest and actively untucking the pelvis, that is bringing on a pretty strong stretch in that hip. And I haven't done any bending forward or going off away from that hip. So you may well find just the pelvic positioning cues gives you a sufficient stretch. So you'll stay there, breathe and relax. Your contraction here would be to attempt to sweep the foot that's up on the bench top through the bench top, you do that for a slow count of five, stop contracting, breathe and relax a couple of times, and then go through the pelvic positioning again. You drop this hip down, you stick that hip back or draw it back, and you untuck the pelvis. Cool. All right, now, of course, you could also add some forward bending but making sure that's coming from the hip, not from the spine. And you can play around with where your chest is in relation to this foot. I can go straight towards the foot or I can change my hand position so I'm more going on this line. Okay. To come out of it, move yourself away, this leg will straighten a bit and then lower down shake out. Give that one a go. It's remarkably powerful for stretching the deep hip muscles.